Hi, Leos out there. This message is going to be for you. Who's hexing Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. We're going to do South Node, too. Find out what the hell is going on here. Leo's. Lionheart. Gonna find out, Leo's. You always got somebody hexing your ass. My mother's a Leo. Some people see your shine, Leo, and they get jealous of it. You're very some. Most of you Leos, for the Leos that are are not shy, because you do have shy Leos. For the ones that are not shy, some of you are very talkative. So you're outgoing, expressive loving you are generous as well sometimes you get irritated you can get irritated with everyday life daily living because so many people go to you for advice and need your help most of you leos out there are tarot card readers some of you are just naturally intuitive but i see sometimes you get exhausted sometimes that exhaustion that exhaustion can come from the evil eye and you thinking, oh, I'm just tired because I overworked myself. I did that overtime. I pulled in overtime at the job. Help, uh, Or I'm helping too many people. I need to rest. No, my love, sometimes you're just being hexed. Or you're, you're just having the evil eye put on you. Someone's just hating at a distance. Because sometimes a lot of these hexes don't always have to be a ritual. Don't always have to be someone going to the cemetery. Most of these hexes are just mental magic. Mental freaking magic. That can easily be broken. Mental magic, a.k.a. Also known as the evil eye. Okay? Thoughts. Thought forms. Being sent your way. Negative thought forms. They can easily be broken. And they can't be broken with just wearing the chain of an eye. Because if you know how to wear the evil eye chain, let me school y'all in on something. Because I've been studying demonology since I was freaking 12 years old, okay? I'm like Ed and Lorraine Warren up in this piece, all right? More like Ed Warren. He studied demonology, but I also have the clairvoyance and clairaudience of Lorraine Warren. So let me school you something on the evil eye real quick before I see who put a hex on you. Leo's out there. Anyone else that's cross-watching. When it comes to the evil eye... Okay, the evil eye has to match your eyes. You cannot get an evil eye charm bracelet with a blue eye. You do not have blue eyes. Not all of y'all walking on this planet got blue eyes. Okay, and let me set you in on something. Some the real the real evil eye comes from a person that does have blue eyes and blonde hair. Sky blue eyes and blonde hair or strawberry blonde hair, but most likely blonde hair, okay? Yes, other races and cultures can do the evil eye. I hate this person, blah, blah, blah. But it will not take effect as much as you think. The one that takes the most effect is the one that comes from the person with the blue eyes, okay? This comes from me doing years of research since the age of 12. Well, let me tell you something. If you have brown eyes, you need the charm of the, the evil eye that has the brown colored eye inside to match your eyes. If you have gray eyes, you need the evil eye charm that has the gray eye color on the inside. If you have blue eyes, then you have the blue eye charm to match your blue eyes. Do you get it now? You see the scenario? The, the evil eye charm that you wear has to match your eye color. It cannot be blue unless you have blue eyes this is how the charm actually works for others of you you also need to wear a piece of red string for the females out there wear a red string on your left side tied to your bra or you can buy the you know the black fist most puerto ricans and cubans you know the island hispanics they they have the charm on the left arm right here and you'll see a red string ariana grande wears one but you're not going to see the black fist you're just going to see the red string most asians out there asian americans even have a red string everything's on the left okay if you want to find out look it up um why everything is on the left protecting the left i think left and right should be protected that's my opinion but again with this evil eye charm 
it has to match the color of your eyes if you got brown eyes the evil eye charm has to have brown eyes you can find them in your spiritual supply shops all right a real spiritual supply shop is going to have all the evil eye charm with all the eye colors now let's get into your reading leo find out if you got a hex on you or not if so who's doing it sorry for the long rant but y'all need to know Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South. No. Who's hexing my Leos, my fire babies out there? Who's putting the hex on Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South? No. Yeshua, please provide messages for the sign of Leo. <laughs> it keeps coming back out, okay. That one card came out. So, yeah, I got the same card Cancer got. Hold on a second. So obviously it's significant because I put the card back when it flipped and it actually fell out. So let's find out. Leo's. Who's hexing Leo? Woo! Mm. Go read me what 333 means. Yeah, Lord, I please. Unknown high priestess is sending you hexes. Yeah, I know that one. Shit. Go that way. All right, so some of you Leos out there, that was my oldest daughter, yes. Mind your beeswax. All right, so some of you got 333 Leo. Some of you are working with the Ascendant Master, or someone was working with the Ascendant Masters against you. But you have the card here that says the hex you sent out is now returning back. The hex you sent out is now returning back. So we're going to find out about this Ascendant Masters. What's going on? Ascendant Masters, the Archangels, the High Power, your ancient ancestors. So y'all were trying to manifest a hex is what I'm hearing Yeshua speak to me about using that 333 so y'all were doing or burning like three candles you're doing rituals three days in a row you or someone else leo you were doing rituals three days in a row three six or nine days in a row you were doing things in threes with the help of spirit let's find out about leo Using the Ascendant Masters, doing rituals in threes, or someone working against Leo. Using the Ascendant Masters, doing everything in threes. They were going against the Wiccan Reed. So for most of you, this individual or you were going against the Wiccan Reed. We have Knight of Pentacles. They were trying to make your money move slow and creative creatively i see creative opportunities let me see let me see let me see let me see what's going on in leo's reading regarding this 333 ascendant master and who's using it ah what i say blocking your damn money so either you is doing this leo or someone else is fucking doing this and this is a heavy earth sign taurus virgo capricorn this person got earth and fire in their chart less fire more earth because you got the knight of pentacles reverse you got the ace of pentacles reverse ascendant masters right that would be yeshua archangels see the hand in reverse and then we got this person was burning candles against you to stop your creative process in regards to making money see the money getting opportunities for money a new job a promotion on the job that you already at leo all right any money coming to you from a baby daddy baby mama any people that you get random people that usually give you money when you need it you get that loan whenever you need that loan you get that car note paid off that house bill those bills in your house paid off from any and all help needed this person blocked it they blocked it and they delayed hindered and blocked your money from coming to you using fire magic okay using the ascendant masters okay this individual i'm hearing is a high priestess or a high priest high priestess is what i hear significantly this person was 
doing a hell of a lot of shit. Lots of fire and air magic. So I see burning candles, incense, prayer spells, incantations. Let me get another card. Regarding Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. So what I see here is... The reason why they did it is because you rejected the offer. Maybe this individual offered you money and love and stability. But this person was also childish acting and you see it for what it is. You've seen it for what it is. And we you rejected this individual's love offer. This person might also have been younger than you. And you, most of you Leos out there got two kids, two boys. You have two boys, an earth sign boy and a water sign boy. And this individual, I guess they felt like they wanted to come in and be Captain Save a Ho. I'm not calling you a hoe, but I'm just saying it like that. And felt like, oh, let me help Leo out with their situation. Maybe I can get something in return. And you rejected them. You rejected them. And now their feelings are hurt. They emotionally and they feels about why they don't want my offer. Why they don't want my monetary offer. And they're in their head about it. You got the hangman in reverse. So they're stuck in their head about this situation. And decided to take it upon themselves to put a hex on Leo using the Ascended Masters. This individual is burning heavy ass candles against you, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. All right. Or like I said, this is you. Could have been dealing with a Pisces initials. First, middle, and last B or either J. You figure it out, Bob, Brianna, Brittany, Jane, John, Jonathan, Jack, Jill, I don't know, Becky with the good hair, who knows, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this person was a, a, a strong Pisces, um, I'm going to tell you right now, their moon is in Pisces, this was a Virgo for most of you. A Virgo sun with a moon in Pisces. Okay. All right. So let's see what's happening here. Oh, degrees. Let's see. I'm trying not to make these long because when you upload long recordings to YouTube, it takes a while. This person wanted you to have lack of direction because you don't. You don't. Some of you, this might have been an ex. You don't want to reconcile with this individual. Okay, at all. Lack of direction when it comes to reconciling with this air sign. They're very unclear. When you told this person or rejected them about their monetary offer and they, they're loving their money that you didn't want or need any help from this individual, Leo, they clearly didn't get it. King of Swords reversed. This person is bitter as fuck. You need to have your defenses up, Leo. Nine of Wands. I see a balance coming in in regards to this situation that had occurred. So some of you could be using earth magic to balance yourselves out. 333 across the board for you. It's in the master, like I said. Got 333 Leo. Okay, so let's check out why this hex, the hex you sent out is now returning back. This could be you or them. Let's see. The hex you sent out is now returning back. For most of you Leos that sent the hex out, just like I told Cancer, if it ain't necessary, you shouldn't be doing it. Now, this is you, Leo, sending out hexes. I see the sun. You sent out a, the hex you sent out is now returning back. Your doors are open, that, and it's going to hit you hard, successfully hit you hard. Some of you might have been... Let me see. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Seven of Swords. Okay, so truth and clarity is coming to you that you know. Some of you are aware that your hex is coming back to you. Okay, some of you are doing a hex to have open roads. All right? And it's not working. Others of you wanted an opportunity in regards to a lot of love. Because I see love and passion here with the sunflowers in the back representing ocean. The deity, goddess of uh, love and beauty and money as well. Finances. But you're going to get a whiff of that. Your shit's not working. It's returning. Seven of Swords reverse. Swords. Hexes. It's returning. What is this? 
King of Pentacles. Some of you, we're dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Did I not tell you Virgo? Okay. He sent the hex back. You hex this Earth sign person, male or female, whoever it is, and they sent it back. This person is very strong in their spirituality. All right? They're very strong. If you hex this individual, it got sent back. This is an Earth sign. This is a Virgo with Leo. Others of you, it is... Look at this. Towards Virgo Capricorn with Leo. Strong Leo. You got the Strength card. Leo. You got the Sun card. Leo. This is a male Leo where Earth in his chart. Taurus. Others of you Leos, this was a freaking Virgo Sun, Pisces Moon. Some of you was Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But definitely this male Leo with Earth in his chart or vice versa. He's sending the hex back. If you hexed him, he hexed you. That's how it is. Yup. Fire sign. Look. Knight of Wands. There's someone that's a player. You are hexing them to keep them around you. Or they got heavily in their charts. Earth and uh, fire. Earth, fire, air, and water. They got all elements in their charts. This individual for most of you. And this person here. This, this person here. Use candle magic and earth magic on you. I heard as well as the other elements. With that strength card and that knight of wands. I see the passion was good. Some of you did a love spell on this individual. And he boomerang that shit back. Like look. I ain't being tied down to no one. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you Leo. But y'all Leos is like. Mm -hmm, yeah. Look at this justice ace of swords queen of swords so some of you didn't get the clarity you need you soon shall there's going to be heavy communication but it's going to be muffled i hear muffled communication meaning either you or this person won't understand what's going on in this communication this could be spiritual communication as well but justice is coming in nonetheless regarding you leos it's going to be some clarity in this situation coming in where it was foggy and un unclear and un it's going to be uncut raw communication com completely plain and simple uncut raw communication could be dealing with a Taurus or libra in the reverse okay yeah, you're going to be getting clear communication. Others of you that was throwing a text on this person to make them your lover. Because that's what this person was. They were already in a committed relationship. So the hex that you sent out to them, they significant other sent that shit back. Because she gained the clarity. She or he, towards the Libra, gained clarity of what the hell was going on. And they're getting justice. That's why the hex you sent out got returned to you. That has been your reading, Leo. You can hit me up. Hit that like button, that bell notification to be receiving your monthly readings to get notified of your readings. Everybody's in every every information you need to know is in the description box below in regard to booking your reading with me, Lady Eve. God bless.